Thomas Morton examined fecal transplants, a promising new frontier in medical science. This is his debrief. Right now, fecal transplants are only used for one thing, and that's to treat recurrent Clostridium difficile. So that's what it's used for at the present. When the FDA approved it for use, they effectively told doctors that they can't use it for anything else without you know, risking malpractice. And so there are trials going on to see if there are other applications for which FMT could be efficacious, but none of them have made it past the uh, kind of early stages yet. It's not very common. There's a community of it. A lot of the discussion of it goes on online on message boards. In the medical establishment, people are pretty skeptical of the DIY fecal transplant people. I think there's a lot of concern that they aren't taking the safeguards that doctors and hospitals obviously would in terms of screening their potential fecal donors for any diseases that they could transmit through their feces, any bloodborne diseases. There's also a sense that these are people who could potentially be giving data to the medical world who are not, you know, publishing the results of their fecal transplants in any sort of peer-reviewed journals or anything, and therefore they're depriving medical science of kind of valuable information. At the same time, the people in the DIY community aren't doing it for laughs, you know, like nobody gives themselves a fecal transplant for trivial reasons. The success rate for treating Clostridium difficile with uh, fecal transplants is 90 to 95 percent. And with most of the cases, a single treatment is enough to prevent the recurrence of C. for the rest of their life. So it's effectively a cure. Prior to using fecal transplants for it, the treatment options were kind of very intensive batteries of antibiotics that usually just kind of curbed the symptoms and kept the bacteria from spreading further in the intestine, but didn't do much to reverse the parts of the intestine that are already colonized. In a lot of cases, people with advanced recurrent Clostridium difficile would have to have parts or the entirety of their intestine removed, which is obviously not a great way to live. There's a little bit of levity to it, but considering the uh, severity of the disease they're treating, it's not exactly, you know, the chuckle hut. I'd say people are a little mature about it, but like the procedure itself, the humor in it's so obvious. Like the joke is in the medicine, and also the medicine's so good. What's the joke about, really? <laughs>